Oh my gosh. Look at how cute they are. You need to get a hobby that's not just food, but it really is my main hobby. I'm 26. Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back for a fun vlog. You know why? You know why? Two reasons. This is the birthday vlog. This is also one day on the Ben Rector tour with this guy. Well, hi. We just got to Dallas. I kind of wish I vlogged San Antonio last night because it was really special because they played at the Majestic Theater, which for me is special. I was a theater kid and that's where I saw like all the Broadway Cross America shows. So it was fun to see backstage and Anna and Kaylise came and everything. And how are you feeling? I'm waking up. Waking up. Mm -hmm. It's been some late nights, mm -hmm. lots of driving, but we made it to Dallas. You wanna give a, a 20 second tour of the downstairs backstage of this venue? Sure. They, they all have dressing rooms upstairs, so I'm hiding down here to not be in anybody's way. Cause if there's one thing I hate, it is being hey. in the way. <laughs> hey, what's up? How's it going? Here's the dressing room. Mm hmm yep. One of a few dressing rooms. Ooh. This is where you put the trash. Trash. Catch it on fire. You know what to do. So anyways, I love having a little space to myself to just like hide out, do work. I got Wi-Fi. I got snacks. I'm happy girl. I got my little pass to get in and out. And look, there is a, there's a little drawn Jordy, a little drawn Steven, and a little drawn Ben. Isn't that cute? They're selling merch with the little sketched Jordy on it and I kind of want one, but I just went upstairs and snuck a water bottle because the sponsor of today's video is absolutely essential for me this weekend. I'm working with AG1, which is like my go-to, especially weekends like this where I'm on the road, I'm traveling, literally all I've eaten today is gas station food and I want to feel good. I know it looks like a greens powder, but it is so much more than a greens powder. It has 75 different whole food source ingredients inside of it. It has vitamins, minerals, superfoods, adaptogens. Something I really like is the digestive enzymes. I used to take digestive enzymes separately um, and now I don't have to because it's literally in this powder and it is so easy. You literally just add it into water like this. I like to put it in a bottle because I like to shake it and then you, you drink it, obviously. In case you didn't catch on to that. But I also have these little travel packs on the road, which are so handy to not bring the whole big thing. And it's exactly one serving and it's easy to drink. It contains a ton of key nutrients that help support sustained energy. So it just helps me wake up a little bit, which is needed <laughs> for these late nights. So I'm appreciative. I have a link for y'all. It'll be in the description, but if you go to athleticgreens.com slash you get a couple gifts if you sign up for your own little container. Um, you're gonna get five of these for free. Like I said, these come in clutch. Um, and then you also, get a year supply of their vitamin D3 K2. It's like a little dropper bottle. This is something that I've been taking for over a year because actually my doctor asked me if I was taking a D3 and I showed her the one I was taking and she was like, yes, please keep that up. She was very impressed. So that link is gonna take you to that deal. Thank you to AG1 for partnering with me on this video and for helping me feel my best during busy seasons. It's awesome. We are officially uh, an hour, a little less till doors open and two hours till show. I've just been in my little dungeon doing work, but I did get real food. I'm so grateful that they ordered me food because technically I should not be getting anything from them. <laughs> Cause I'm just here in the way, not working for them. So I'm thankful, so thankful. <laughs> Easy breathing in your atmosphere. Oh, how could I? How could I ever forget last year when we were on top? When we were. Seasons 
But it was, our, it was our one year dating anniversary yesterday. Um, so this one is for her. Okay, sorry I haven't updated y'all in a bit. The show went very well and I got this cute little hotel here in Fort Worth, which is different from Dallas. Ben said Dallas in the middle of the show and everybody booed so hard and I didn't know that that was like an issue. But um, update the Stanley Cup. I'm officially converted. I, I see why there's a hype. I get it. I put ice in this like two days ago and it's just now barely melted. <sighs> I get it. I guess I'm a Stanley girl. In the morning, driving back to Austin. It's the last night that Jordy's in town, so we have the official birthday date tomorrow night. And we're going to a spot called Este, which is new. And I made reservations for it the day reservations open, 21 days before the date you want to go. So I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, those are all my updates. Hold on. but I've come here once before on the vlog and it's fully 100% gluten-free. So like completely celiac safe. Ready? Oh my gosh. Look at how cute they are. This, this situation. This situation? The honey lemon mouse. Oh, it is lemon. Oh, it's freaking good. Is it freaking it's good? mochi. It's like a mochi donut. Wow. You wanna try it? This is emotional. Mm-hmm. It's a good donut. It's a good donut, huh? We need to together. <laughs> I am feeling incredibly just like the, you know? How are you feeling? Bleh. Yeah, we're both feeling a little bleh. We, I, I made a possible pre-dinner, like just rooftop drinks reservation, but I'm kind of feeling like maybe we pull out the movie theater and watch an episode or two of our show and try to recharge. And then I'll need ample amount of time to refresh to get cute because I am so looking forward to tonight's dinner. I was telling Jordy that this is a spot I've wanted to go for a long time and it's just like, it's hard to get a reservation. And it's so special that the reservation we were able to get is also just a special occasion. And it's kind of nice to not get things that you want when you want them, you know? Like the delayed gratification. You disagree? <laughs> you don't like delayed? You like instant gratification? Yes. Immediate gratification. Okay, well, I'm excited to have these. My parents are making gluten free tres leches to bring over tomorrow, but now we got tres leches and donuts and donuts for the morning. Mm -hmm. And the sad thing is, is if we wanted to, we could easily eat all of them in 24 hours because mm -hmm. we both love donuts so much. Do. They are quite holy. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have energy to make donut pops. You're a little too glazed and confused. <laughs> okay, we're gonna watch a little show. By the way, this is the full setup now. We have the uh, speakers that Jordy got me for my birthday and this shelf with the record player and he ordered this one cable that goes really long all the way to the speakers and now the sound system sounds like a real movie theater, which is so great. And you close this, and it's pitch black in here. It's time for a movie. I really am so glad that we chose a couple episodes of Netflix instead of going to a rooftop before dinner because the thing that I've learned about me is I can fall asleep so easily. So if I go to bed early, I get a lot of sleep, but I cannot sleep in. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know if anybody else is like this. I feel like most people are opposite where they have trouble falling asleep, but then like once they're asleep, they can sleep in. So having several late nights in a row, that's when I feel it because I'm staying up late and I try to budget time to sleep in the next morning, but I just like my body wants to wake up at like seven at the latest. So the, the sleep quality isn't good, but a hack that I've learned that I just did is a quick like just body shower really wakes me up. Um, so like obviously, didn't want to take off my makeup because we're going out. So just hop in the shower, soap up, hop out. Don't get my hair wet, don't get my face wet. And I feel so revived, but also laying down and watching a couple episodes is great too. I think I mentioned in a recent vlog, we're watching Lupin, L-U-P-I-N. And it's a French show, but they've dubbed it over in English on Netflix. And it's really good. Also don't know if you're like this, if you're dating someone, 
it is hard for us to find a show we both like because I don't like sad things. I don't like historical things. I like if there's like a storyline and I do like spy things. So we've been only really finding like kind of like mystery, spy-ish or heist adjacent type things to watch. And that's like our only overlap on things we both enjoy watching, which is pretty funny. Those are all of my updates for you. Just gonna try to get cute for dinner tonight. Refreshed a little bit and I'm really so excited. I need to get a hobby that's not just food, but it really is my main hobby. I guess I have pottery and tap dancing. Okay, I still need to refresh in my hair, but I can't decide on this birthday date night outfit because I love these shoes, but it's cold. So I wanna wear tights, but these tights with these shoes, I don't know. It, I don't know if it reads like a costume. They only really look good in my opinion with like a short dress or short skirt with nothing here. But I might wear it, they're comfy. We're about to head out, go to dinner. Um, and Jules, while we're gone, is gonna come take all this patio furniture that doesn't fit on this little patio because I've ordered two little chairs to replace all this instead. And she's gonna use it in her backyard. Reduce, reuse, recycle, give to friends. So it'll be fun to come home to an empty patio and I think in the next vlog, I'm gonna do the next or the one after that. I'm gonna do a decorate my patio with me, build all the furniture, go to the nursery, get plants, finally make this functional because it's been a little tight out here. It's like, I don't know if you've been able to tell in vlogs, there's not a lot of moving space out here. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. You look good. Thanks for taking me on a little birthday date. Let's go. Saw you run across this face. Stoned and drunk across this face. Still can't show you how. back from dinner and we stopped to pick up flowers because I was like everyone's coming over to the apartment tomorrow I need to refresh the flowers but then I came home to this and more flowers I think from Jules I haven't opened the card yet but oh oh I'm feeling spoiled today and it's not even my birthday yet it's tomorrow yeah it's your last day being 25 hey, final 25 thoughts Final 25 thoughts. I said this, my thoughts I said on Instagram is that 24 was the most transitional year, but 25 was by far the most transformative year. Like all the big, like shocking transitions happened in 24, but I just was on autopilot. And then 25 is when I actually did the work of like working through things. And I think becoming a better person. Like I like myself a lot better. I think I'm just more honest and I stand up for myself more. And I hope I continue to do that during 26. I think 26 might be a, a transitional year again. Or maybe transformative and 27 transitional. I don't know. Thank you for the most excessive, wonderful dinner. And thank you to Jules and Jordy for all these flowers. Look at all these flowers. Look at all these flowers.
morning. I'm 26. Good morning. She's 26. <laughs> I'm 26. I feel like we just did this a week ago. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do it again. Yeah. This one's from Aunt Kathy. It's so sweet that your family sent me this. It's so excessive. Happy birthday. Oh, Starbucks. <gasps> Can I get a birthday coffee with me? Yeah. Oh wait, this one says from Nini. Mm. <clears throat> this one's Kathy. That one's Nini for sure. Okay. <gasps> Five daughters. We're going to Nashville in a week. Oh, no. For one of Jordy's shows, and this bakery has gluten-free. Oh, they have gluten-free? They have gluten-free. Five daughters, that's great. I'm so excited. I took the block here once. Thanks, Aunt Kathy. We got coffee and donuts. This is for me. Yes. To me. I got pottery tools Ooh. to cut holes in my Aww. berry bowls. You want from your mom? I'm so curious to know what this is. I love your mom. Oh my gosh, is this for a candle? Oh, oh, a, a, a stem face. That is so cute. This is so my style, and I'm trying to style my shelves. I wonder if she knew that. I could put it on that uh, on that shelf in there where I needed something. Yeah. <laughs> Plant parent socks. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh, wow. Wait, this is so cute. A recipe journal. Thank you, Marjorie. This is so sweet. These are from Brands. They arrived <laughs> the day Brand. before my birthday. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Brand. Mr. and Mrs. Brooklyn. <laughs> Aren't those so cute? What is that? I need a cute hand towel for that bathroom since I'm like trying to make it a little funky. I just have solid ones in there right now. Aren't those nice? That. I, I don't know. this one from? This is from uh, Caraway. And the other box is the thing that I'm really excited about that I want, but this one is their new thing. This is Caraway. But this, I have an electric version of this, so I don't know how much I would actually use this one. Yes, I have an electric guitar, and this box is an acoustic. It's like the nicest kettle. This is 26. This is what you get really excited about. Oh my gosh, it's so big. It's the most beautiful food storage container wow. set in the world. And it comes with like these, you know how my pots and pans have the little magnetic holders that hold them all together? Mm -hmm. This has the same organization system. Oh, they're so beautiful. Thank you to Marjorie and Kathy and Nini and uh, Caraway and Brooklyn and, and myself. And thank you for the sweetest gift of all time that I opened officially a week ago and we've been utilizing every single day and I'm gonna listen to that record every day until the day that I die. Love you. I love you too. We're totally changing our plan en route because he mentioned Picnic, which is my favorite fully gluten-free spot and I love their bone broth and we might go fuel up on a little food if they can take a walk in before going shoe shopping. Shoe shop. Shoe shop. Shoe shopping. Bone broth, shoe shop. Bone broth, shoe shop. Yep. Cargo pants. What are these called? From Everlane because they're super lightweight. The fatigue barrel pant. Like the material is very summer friendly here in Texas. And it's super comfy. I just can't tell if they're a little short on me, but definitely more comfortable than jeans. So I grabbed a lot and made well because I have a gift card. And everything's 25% off. So like we're gonna try some things off. Okay, this little quilted floral vest. It's so cute, and you can wear it with a tank in summer or like long sleeves in winter. I'm gonna try tying it completely and seeing what it looks like, but I kind of like it open actually. Okay, these shorts are very comfy and cute. They feel like pajamas, but I feel like they'd be really good for the pool. Um, picture it with a different top, obviously, not this one. I wonder if I should try it on with this one. Hmm. I don't know, kind of fun. I think these are no. I think they're supposed to read as like loose but to fit, they they read as tight and they remind me of like, <laughs> remember in like, what year was that? I was probably fourth grade when it was in style to wear the jeans that went to like here and were tight all the way to here. What were those called? I saw this dress styled open over a swimsuit 
and I was thinking for our family trip this summer that could be really nice slash to visit Jordy to keep sun off me but I feel like the sleeves I feel like it's just a lot of fabric so maybe if they have a smaller size I'll do it but otherwise it's just a lot of fabric I love this I did not get shoes. <laughs> I couldn't find any I liked. I want to look online. Um, but I did spend my Madewell gift card and I got some Texas pants and I got soap for the sink that doesn't have soap. And what did you get? Cool shirt. It is literally knitted. Knitted. Isn't that so cool? He's going to make a show shirt. Show shirt. Because he can't wash this. Mm -hmm. Remember that. It's been the best birthday and he's about to go get dropped off at the airport and I'm sad. Yeah. But then, mom and dad are coming. Did I tell you I have a sleepover? Oh, that's so fun. I know. I told them fun. they could stay. Or they sleep over. I know. So we might have a sleepover with Chris and Carolyn. That's fun. And Anna and Kaylee are going to come. Jacqueline's coming back into town. She's been in Houston. They made Tres Leches. And then we're meeting other friends out at a brewery, which is very off-brand. But there are food trucks, which is very on-brand. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming out and spending my birthday with me. I love you. And our anniversary is so great. And our anniversary and letting me crash boys night on the Ben tour. It was really, really, really great. It was really, really, really great. Is it on? It is on. Content. Content! <laughs> yeah! Hi, friends. In case you missed it, friends got here. And we're eating pre-game donuts. this card she made that isn't that cute so glad to have y'all here and have a sleepover party with y'all it's been fun it's been a long time since we've got to do this too. sorry that i made the second bedroom of movie theater instead That's of fine. a guest room hey no I, I like the couch anyway thanks for a great birthday oh thank you it's, it's been awesome birthday. and you got a lot of really really nice friends and so many sweet cards from all my friends and so many flower flowers and cards are the best gifts <laughs> and mom and dad got me a gift card to a restaurant which is my Favorite yeah, activity. It's gonna be a neat restaurant. I was laughing earlier. I was like, this whole vlog is just food <laughs> because that's all I like to do. <laughs> but, anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here and I'm starting a whole new vlog tomorrow. I might be decorating the patio. Thank you for helping me carry up the, sure. the new boxes of patio furniture. You bet. Oh, and one more thank you to AG1 for partnering with me on this video and getting nutrients in my body as I live off of donuts, cake, tacos, <laughs> cookies. What else have I had? Biscuits and gravy. I'm glad I got some greens in this weekend. But nevertheless, I will have my link down below to get your five free travel packs and then your supply of the little vitamin D drops, which are so great. I love y'all and I love you. Oh, and you. Happy uh, birthday. Thanks, Dad. I love Mom too. She's somewhere. And I love Max. Max! I love you! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye.